Hi, I'm Scott Nasella. I'm here for uh, three reasons, really. One, I think the Windows uh, DevOps use case in the enterprise is vastly underrepresented. Two, I'm asking my engineers to do some scary stuff, so I need to be able to role model doing scary stuff too, hence being on the stage. And, and then three, uh, you know, really uh, giving back to the community, I think, is a, is a hallmark. Uh, about us, we're Microsoft Server, 3,000 plus uh, servers, uh, lots of VMware, all on premises. So, enter Gene Kim. Um, I was an accidental um, attendee at one of his talks, the three ways uh, bringing DevOps to the enterprise. And uh, I walked away um, feeling very burdened, like, what am I going to do about this? And uh, he could almost have said that, um, yeah. Okay, so uh, enter Jeffrey Snover. So, uh, I've used Jeffrey Snover as our uh, engineer whisperer at uh, Columbia, uh, sending some tough love to the engineers. So then we can have a conversation with uh, the engineers. Hey, your job is not really preparing you for the future. So how do we have a collaborative conversation about creating that win-win scenario where um, we can concurrently benefit the business, becoming less fragile, and uh, benefit the engineer in terms of uh, helping their career progression? Start going too fast. Okay, uh, so you're going to get a lot of uh, reservations and a lot of pushback from, uh, you know, the Windows crowd. And you can see some of the examples here. One of my favorites is, um, hey, uh, they have a SSH uh, RDP tip jar. That's crazy. So um, out of that conversation, you should be able to find some early adopters that want to go on this journey with you. After you find the early adopters, uh, then you ask them what, what they need to be successful. Uh, they could be someone that's frustrated, et cetera. So we use the minimum viable process to good effect. So instead of trying to build that super uh, complicated burger on the right, build the simple thing, build it well, and then you can add the complexity uh, a little bit later. Um, taking the top five uh, predictors of IT performance, we said, you know what? We're going to focus on version control. I challenged the team to go from zero to 250 artifacts under uh, version control in 2015. So what you're looking at on the right side, in case you don't know, is PowerShell. Uh, so we have a uh, way to measure how we're doing in terms of our artifact count. So this is, uh, I ran this a couple days ago. So we, we hit like 500 in the first year, and we're, we're uh, like 700 now. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Kanban. So we want to have a way to uh, visualize the work, uh, minimize WIP, and uh, actually know what we're working on. So uh, on the right-hand side is TFS. Uh, uh, Kanban, and we create a PowerShell script to be able to put it on there easily. Uh, so we have metrics to reinforce the flow. So we take the Kanban board, and we can actually schedule our reports to uh, further visualize the work. And then we have a PowerShell script to kind of see what we've done. So we've got version control. We've got scripting Kanban. Now we're actually ready to do the DevOps that we've heard so much about. And you're going to probably have some bumps in the road. Stay with it. Okay, so we started small, we started simple. Uh, what you're looking at is a PowerShell script that enables us to provision from, uh, from script uh, servers uh, onto our VMware environment. So uh, we're talking about the data center, et cetera. We made it a little bit harder. We added uh, domain joining, et cetera. And as you're going to see on the next one, uh, we figured out how to bootstrap Chef. So we have a full-in... Um, versioned artifact in our production control system. That way it, it describes everything uh, that is important about that server. What we're working on now is actually brownfielding uh, all of our existing servers. So we're going to actually exploit the data off of our uh, vSphere environment uh, to build those files, check them in, et cetera. Um, so now we're working on building curious people. So we have stacks of books. I replenish them uh, pretty frequently. You can see Lean, Inter Lean Enterprise, Phoenix Project, Beyond the Blame, et cetera. We've had a couple of book clubs that have been super awesome, and they've been facilitated by the, uh, by the members of the team. Uh, this is a recent uh, podcast uh, series. Three engineers did something scary. They got up, and they talked about uh, three podcasts that they picked. Uh, so in summary, uh, it's all about minimum viable process for us, including uh, the dimming cycle, finding a win-win both for your enterprise and, your, and for your engineers, and then uh, making it easy for, um, for your new adopters to join.